I see a tur I see some corners coming up here. Sixth gear. We're just gonna go full send on this little SE section. In 400 yards. Oh man, what? I will take it. Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Emil Rabbit. We're here on Forza Horizon 5 to do our first official drifts in that E90 Supra. We're going to go through my wheel settings, do some drift tires and drift suspension and some mild toting. You get some actual first drifting here in the game. We are on the new HyperX microphone recording. So we do have some uh, sound deadening and everything with this microphone. So you won't hear like... Uh, lasers that are behind me that sounds like loud cpu fans so the quality is going to be a lot better going to be fine-tuning some settings throughout the next couple videos but without further ado let's uh let's get so we do have our a90 we have not done anything to the a90 at all it's just basically how it comes in the game but we are going to be changing some things around so let's go and do some a uh, fine tuning of the car we we'll pop the uh the back so we are going to change the back bumper so i want to change this back to the factory bumper because i like the factory tail lights better than these tail lights so we're, first thing we're gonna do put the factory bumper on so that's the first thing we're doing do you want to continue working or shall um, we get these installed install and then we will go pack and add like i said the drift suspension and everything and then we're going to take a look at my wheel settings so let's go back this way and actually just go into upgrades and tuning uh custom upgrades all right so first thing we have to do is throw in the suspension so we need to add the drift suspension to the a90 so we're going to do that right now and then, of course, we're going to put those drift tires on. So we're going to add a few power mods to it just because I want to add some uh, power to the car. So we're going to add some drift tire compounds. We're going to leave everything else how it is. And then we're going to go to performance. And I know we can uh, rev the engine. And our sounds do change. So we're going to throw in the race intake. A little bit different of exhaust tone on that we do have the full race exhaust i want to see what the different sound is like factory so each exhaust makes a big difference so we are going like i said going to add a little bit more power to it let's go in we do have cams already because we do have a lot of power in this a90 already so we do want to increase a little bit more. We can go up to a little bit bigger of a turbo. Let's add a little bit more, a little bit more boosts to it. And then I think that's all we're gonna do with it. We're gonna do that little bit. Then we're gonna go in and adjust it. Yes, of course, minus 17,000, that's fine. So let's go to tuning. Every mechanic nope. who goes through the garage. So if you want to try someone else's engine tune, you can. Customize my own tuning. So, uh, there, okay, we're going to drop this down. We're going to start it at 28, and we're going to drop this to 30. Gearing is obviously the same. We're going to dial that back. I don't want 5 degrees of camber. Let's do 3.7, and we're going to drop this down to, say, 0.5 in the rear. We're going to zero our toes out. Leave any roll bars the same, leave springs the same, and leave everything else pretty much the same. And that's what we're going to start off with. Yep, apply. All right, so now let's go take a look at my wheel settings because I did fine tune some Turn wheel settings. When it is safe to do so. And I did find some settings that I feel are actually quite, um, quite good and feel very well. You guys are going to see that. So one of the biggest things that i did change was i turned force feedback scale all the way up and i turned wheel dampening scale off so the wheel dampening scale is also helping with it feeling very it's giving me some more self steer uh, i turned off-road fee uh feel scale because i was getting too much vibration in the wheel i didn't like how that felt so this is what i'm running at right now now for difficulty settings i am on simulation steering 
as well as everything any lock breaks and everything are turned off so that is what i have and for my fanatec settings so for my fanatec settings for sensitivity we are on authentic and then force feedback, I have it turned down to 50% on my wheel because I have Forza turned up all the way. I turned my wheel down a little bit just so it's not super taxing on my wheel. DRI off, uh, FEI at 100, Forza at 100, 100, 100. Uh, and then BLI is at 70. Shock, I have off. Breaking Force is at 70. So that's my fan attack settings. So let's go back to the game and uh, go actually get uh, first drifts in this car. So this is the first test with drift suspension and the new drift tires. So let's see what how they feel. Oh, I don't have a handbrake. Got to remap that. We'll just clutch kick it. But as you can see, the wheel kind of does just float in my hand actually quite well. And kind of just let it go, and it kind of gives me that counteract, like a set of wood. Oh, so we do have better steering lock, but let's get our handbrake linked up because that is still a thing that I hope they fix very soon, where we have to map our handbrake every single time we come into the game. It's uh, a little annoying, but it only takes a couple seconds, so beggars can't be choosers. All right, so let's go take this to a bit higher speed drifting sections up here we're just staying in the thing but so overall for a first uh first test of the drift suspension and the actual drift tires i uh quite happy with how this is going so first official drifts in this a90 Let's see if we can't paint this back the other way. There we go. Oh, this actually feels really good. So the wheel is actually feeling quite comfortable. And I like the way it's feeling. I thought I was going to overshoot that turn. So let me know what you guys think of the drifting so far test these wheel physics out because when you turn wheel dampening field off it actually helps quite well oh my gosh she is so loud trying to take me to uh the next part of the game but i'm not trying to uh go there yet We're doing a little Gymkhana style here. Yeah, I definitely like it. So, for first actual drifts, it's quite good. Now, I really wish they had a drift camera going on. Because, uh... Can't really see where I'm going without drift camera. Oh, a little bit of a wall tap. So we're going to head to where she wants us to go. In the A90, of course, we're probably going to get some high-speed drifting. I see a tur I see some corners coming up here. Sixth gear. We're just going to go full send on this little SE section. In 400 yards, turn left. Oh, man. Turn left. What? I will take it. We're on the dirt. We're heading to the new house, which is another, the next installment of this game. And uh, does feel pretty good on dirt, too. So I think we get our first house. I'll take it. Ripping in that There's A90. There's an expression in Espanol you may have heard. But this is more than just my house is your house, my friend. This Very is a small pink house. And family. Horizon and Mexico are family. Welcome to your new home and now we get to start the full game so overall first impressions of the drift suspension and the drift tires i do like them a lot they are very nice feeling and in this a90 off the rip as you can see with some little tweaking 
And that's just Take a base a tune, so. Around. We'll leave as soon as you are ready. Well, I'm ready, so we're leaving. We gotta get more drifting this in. This is it. What? We're ready for the next stage of the Horizon adventure. Ramiro has marked out potential outposts to expand to and new event types to unlock. Okay. The choice is yours. Where shall we go first? Um. Main stage. I mean. I think we've already completed two of the main stages, though. Um. But we gotta complete those. Those are locked. Horizon Apex will be the ultimate destination for road racing. I mean, I'm definitely a road racer, so we're gonna go there. Definitely love road racing, and you know we can. Well, uh, we're cleared for takeoff. <laughs> Come meet me, my friend. You will see. I hope my game just didn't crash. We are still littered with the glitching of the game. So we're going to reset the game and come back in because we got to do some more drifting in this A90. So we're going to have to reset this real quick. And uh, miracle of editing. It is safe to do okay. So. In 200 yards, turn left. Like I said, miracle of editing, we are back. And we're gonna go do some more drifting. Oh, oh, I forgot to link my handbrake. Go figure. Let's do that real quick. of editing and we're back here and we can be doing some sliding a little more to really feel how this supra feels turn around when it is safe to do so and i am actually loving how this is feeling right now oh i should have went up a gear recalculating route catching a little bit of some dirt on that Let's go full send fast as we can through this next corner. Six gear. Turn right. Oh, there we go. Turn right. Get to some a little bit of SE roads here. Yep, definitely liking how the wheel is feeling right now on the game. Feels so much better than Horizon 4 did. With the fine tweaks and everything, and these drift tires and this drift suspension make this car so good. With very mild tuning, also. Clutch kick that. Little we'll left up brake there. Oh man! Quite honestly, this has somewhat of a feel like a set of course it does a little bit in certain aspects and certain cars and stuff like that. The way my wheel is actually responding is not like any other Forza game that Horizon game we've had. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Forza Horizon 5 Burst Official Drifts here in the A90 with uh, drift suspension and drift tires, giving you guys my wheel settings and everything. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media knowledge from the description box below. We're gonna do this last corner. As always, I think I've come back and watching Omnibore Rabbit. See you guys on the track.